Hey guys, Ryan Patterson with Vexus Boats, and today we're going to walk through the AVX 1980. And I think the first thing when you talk about a Vexus 1980 that you'll that that kind of stands out to you is the stretch form gunnels. As you can see here, they don't really have the appeal or look of a, a traditional aluminum boat. They actually come together at the front, gives the boat a really nice attitude, bass boat feel to it. Um, as we kind of start working our way back, you'll notice that we've got a, a fiberglass recess tray and bow panel that gives you the option to, to flush mount a nine inch unit at the front of the boat. Um, you know, really makes the boat look clean. Uh, you'll notice we've got an accessory station right here with the cup holder and tool storage. As you kind of transition back here towards the cockpit, um, you'll notice that we've got uh, an array of storage underneath this deck, but it's also important to, to point out with upright level flotation, you know, we, we're able to have two anglers up here on the front of the boat that can fish throughout the day on a very secure and stable platform. As we transition back here to the center rod box, it's, it's important to point out that um, we've actually modified the traditional rod tubes to make them more of an oval shape to make it forgiving if you're pulling you know, two rods out of one rod boot or you know, so you're not catching an eye when you're bringing it out. It's also important to point out that underneath our lids here, we paint those. The um, reason why we do that is over time, you know, raw aluminum will oxidize, have sort of a painted color to it, and we wanted to paint that so it looks uh, neat and appropriate at all times. On the front deck of the 1980, we've actually got two storage boxes. We actually saw the, the eight foot uh, four center storage box, but we've also got 710 here on the side um, that we're able to put an array of rods in. You can also store your butt seat, tackle, um, whatever you would like to put in there throughout the day. Uh, like I said, this just got oodles of storage here on the front deck. Another term used with the AVX 1980 would be a fiberglass infused aluminum hybrid and we talked a little bit about the bow plant panel earlier and we'll get to the console and some of the rear features here in the back but it's also important to point out <clears throat> that we've actually got a foamed in cooler um, that could double as a storage box if need be but you'll notice that it's got a raised fiberglass lip on it um, that you know keeps water out right here um, it's got a stainless steel compression latch on top of it with a striker plate to be able to keep that lid um, compressed against that fiberglass not only to keep your cooler cool throughout the day but it also keeps your storage dry your tackle and your storage box dry in front of the cooler here we've also got another storage box this would be a great place to put tackle rain suit um, snacks throughout the day you know just like i said earlier there's plenty of storage up here on the front deck of the avx 1980. As we transition into the cockpit, I think it's important to point out here that we've got a fiberglass console um, that not only gives you the option to be able to install up to a 12 inch graph uh, back mounted here at the console, but it's also extremely secure. Um, obviously it matches the color of your boat, so you're able to customize your rig when you order a boat from us. It's kind of a build it your own way mentality uh, that we have here at Vexus. When you look underneath the console, we've got ample leg room underneath here. You know, there's quite a bit of room if you were ever want to install an aftermarket foot throttle. Um, <clears throat> we've got room for that. But also, uh, we're giving the shorter angler the opportunity to have a seat slide where you can adjust, you know, there could be different people driving the boat throughout the day. So this gives you the option to be able to adjust your seat. This particular boat we're in has actually got our center coin box option. Um, it's a, it, it can double as a step as well, but you've got a place here to put your keys, your wallet, your cell phone uh, throughout the day of fishing and also have it accessible right here as well. One thing too, that uh, we're sitting on the fuel tank right now underneath the seats. And that's really important when this boat, when we talk about a, you know, this boat performing and being a pad hull, it centers the weight in this boat and helps it lift and perform at a high level. We've got a fiberglass live well system. Um, with also, you can see here, we've got a splash guard as well. A lot of times in aluminum boats, when you're coming on and off plane or adding fish, uh, there's times where the water can get over the top. We've actually created a splash guard to be able to forgive that, to make sure your cockpit and your back deck stays dry. Beside the live well, <clears throat> in, the, in the rear storage box, you'll see we have a, a very large drop-in fiberglass cooler right here. And it's important to point out that this box is almost four times the size of the industry standard uh, drop-in plastic box. It also has a raised lip with a weather seal around it. Um, and you'll notice when we shut this, we've got stainless steel compression locks that are uh, equipped all throughout the boat that are lockable as well. 
when we come back to the storage uh, the storage and battery box <clears throat> you'll notice that we've got uh, really ample access to your bilge pump your live well pump uh, assorted batteries as you can see we've got room back there for a, a power pole pump as well what we wanted to do is to give the customer room to be able to put a tool bag extra outboard oil um, you know whatever he would want throughout the day to be able to be accessible in, in his rear uh, battery box You'll notice the, the outboard we've got on this boat <clears throat> is an Evinrude. Um, here at Vexus, you've got the power of choice. You know, we can give you uh, an Evinrude, uh, a Mercury. Um, you know, we want to give you, the customer, the option of choosing whatever outboard you want on the back of this boat. Thanks for checking out the 1980 with us today. For more specs, features, and options, be sure to check out VexusBoats.com. Thanks for stopping by.